M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to show you how to set up profiles using just the device. I have made a video using my computer or my browser on my smartphone. First thing you do is press the OK button. And oh, just, just in case you don't know, so what is a profile? Well, it's almost like someone else could actually use the radio because within that profile, you can tell it what to connect to. You can tell it what call sign to use. You can even change your Wi-Fi. So, it, you know, this is a useful tool. Uh, so anyway, let's go back to setting this up. Click OK, then go to settings. So down and OK. Then go to config profiles. That's the first one down. Click OK. And we've set up quite a few, and you know, I've got some on D Star, some on YSF, some on DMR. So let's go to a blank one. There you are, number four is has not been used. Although it's there, you can change to it, but it's not been named. So let's click OK, and then we're gonna go to rename. So we go down and click click OK. And it takes a bit of getting used to the keypad, but anyway, just see the little cursor, you move it right and left until we're going to delete it, delete what's there. So there's the back arrow, delete. Once you underline it, just keep pressing OK. You can hold it down when you're in the main keyboard. So that's OK. Now we'll go down with the down arrow. You've got up and down arrows here, up and down. That's the back button, that's your OK. So what we're going to do is just start to name it. So we'll go down, and I'm going to call this one YSF, OK? So let's just go up, underline Y. Now, if you want capitals, keep going to the beginning here at the start. You can press OK and you can choose capitals and numbers when it's in that corner. So we'll just go to capitals. There you go. And then we'll go to hold it down. We'll go all the way to Y. Actually, too far. Click OK and then... Holding it down again, where's S? Just on it there, click OK. And then we're looking for F. There you are, you could use numbers if you want. Click OK. Once you're done, you need to tick it. See, there's a tick here. So we'll go forward, ignore my dog. Click OK. And you've now named it. So now we can activate it. You go up and down and go to activate. See that? Click OK. It looks like you can actually copy it to an existing one as well. Look, copy two. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to go activate by pressing OK. OK, it's gone to it. And then we it's almost setting it up like a new radio, even the screen timeout. So if I cl click OK, and then we're just going to go next for United Kingdom. And it still wants my call sign. So I'm going to click OK. And we'll get my call sign in there in the same way. So M, it's a bit laborious, but M, and then we want numbers. If we go right to the end, we can go to the beginning quicker, I believe. There you go. Um, and it does have to be a, a number if you've got a zero in your call sign. Click OK, and then back to capitals. F. You get used to it, but obviously you can do all this on the software, on your phone, it's easier. The other thing you can do on your phone is that your phone will actually see this actual screen in black and white, it's very cool. And list and hear the audio. So you can go anywhere you like with this device. As long as you're in Wi-Fi range of it, and you've got your phone, you can listen to it. You can't actually transmit though. So M0FXB, and we just wanna tick that, click OK, and then it does it, it does all your DMR. You have to tell it you've got a license because you can use this non-license just with Wi-Fi. Uh, so I have an official license. I'm going to go yes. Go down. Oh, I don't I have to select yes first. Yes. Then go down to next and then finish. Click OK. So that's it. It's so going to, you know, create that profile. But there's one more step because you, you want to tell that profile what to do. So what we're going to do now is do the quick setup. So whilst we're in that profile, so we go menu down to quick setup, which is there. Click OK. 
then choose what we want to do. Look at that, you've got a parrot. If I selected that, I could actually hear my voice, but I'm not going to do that. Now we're going to do YSF. Like we said, click OK. And I'm sure they're going to add more to this list because I feel like some is missing. Before we connect, let's find what we want to connect to. So go to server. I know it says Star Trek, but go to where we want to connect to. Click OK. And a long list comes up. Choose. And we're going to choose CQ UK, which I highly recommend. Click OK. Now go up and go connect. And it will connect. And it will remember that when you were on this profile that you used you know, this reflector. M0FXB audio test. Ernie, are you there? I got me a M1KE. Ernie was one of the first to get one of these. Gulping coffee. But anyway, oh yeah, look at that. The, the screen's gone black. So all you do, menu, go to settings. Click OK, go down to display, click OK, and then look, enable dim after inactivity. Turn that off, oh, go down one, and you've got the brightness there. There, turn that off, then back out. Back with the top button. And then to switch, you just go, OK, press the OK. Go to settings, back to config profiles, and then just choose the one. Let's see, we go to that one there, click OK, and then activate. And it should just switch and hopefully remember all the settings that you put in there. And now I'm on Brandmeister. Live connected to Brandmeister server. Job done. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Please hit the like, subscribe, 73.